Hey there guys, Sting right here, back here with another video request. Uh, this is, I believe, it's my fifth video request uh, in about a week. So, this is a really big hit. I mean, it's really awesome how everybody is interested in seeing a video request. And um, this hopefully helps you, like, if you want to buy a, uh, a belt or something, you know, you check out one of these videos, you get all the answers that you need that you want to buy the belt. So, that'll make you want to buy the belt. So, um, the, I never had any of these videos when I was buying a belt, and I'm helping out all these other people who are interested in buying a belt, basically. So, um, that's what the purpose of these videos are, and to answer people's questions. So, um, this video, we're going to be comparing the WWE United States, um, title, the normal one, and the WWE United States spinner belt. So, um, this video was requested by DSK, uh, Five four three, I believe it was, and um, he's gonna have a new wrestling show on there, and check that out. Uh, he said it's gonna be started up soon. It's gonna be called IWF, and um, yeah, this video was requested by him. And um, next, next we have um, if you have any video requests you want to see, just send me a message. The same style as all, as before. Just drop a comment to my profile, send me a message, whatever you want, and um, I'll get to it. I'll uh, I love making videos and stuff, and that's what I do all the time. So, and don't forget check out my new channel, Stingray Eight Hundred Nine, daily video logs, parodies, everything on there. This channel will still be used, Darkling Eight Zero Nine. So don't worry about it. Uh, either way, again, the best of both worlds. So subscribe to both channels, and you won't be disappointed. So let's get to the video. <clears throat> all right, guys, here we are. We have the WWE United States title, which in fact will be mine at Voltage uh, when I win it in that Iron Man match. Alright, so here it is. On the gold tip, it says US Champ. I always take this belt to a live event. I took it to the, um, uh, the SmackDown ECW tapings that I did. I did a video of it, I believe, in... Yeah, Extreme Rundown Episode 20, and it shows me with the belt and stuff I take to live events. It really makes you stand out. Everybody looks at you and stuff, and this, I've never seen anybody with it. They, they either had the spinner or the world title. So, this makes you stand out. And be, believe it if you not if you don't believe it, whatever. Uh, it's your opinion. And you saw this in the last video request. This is the United States spinner belt. We'll be comparing these two. A um, little bit of history here. This belt was introduced by, of course, John Cena, and after he won the U U United States uh, Championship back in um, 2005, no, 2004, I think it was, and um, so after he introduced the belt, uh, that a after he won the title, that belt came out, and um, just a little bit, a little fact, so the most notable difference, of course, is the spinner, but it's longer too. It's a lot, a little, maybe about two to three inches longer than the normal U.S. title. Um, regardless, though, this one gets air bubbles, uh, as you can see, but that's because it's simulated leather. I mean, even when you droop it down, I mean, this is the most flexible belt I have, along with the world title. So, these are really, this is a really awesome belt, regardless of whether you get deluxe or ultra deluxe, whatever. Um, this belt does not get air bubbles, it just cracks, but there are no cracks on it because it's been re-screwed and it puts less force on the creases. And see, you can just put all that force on there. There's no cracks or anything on the corners, and since I have an HD camcorder, you don't see the, the cracks. <clears throat> but um, the most notable fact is that this has a spinner, this does not. Um, we'll go in depth on the plates you got uh six plates on each belt uh this one of course is more silver and this one is more gold looking um this one you have the u.s title on i mean the united states flag on here this one you have the um wwe logo you have a star you have an eagle and i uh, have this etching very nice detail on this belt on this one you have a star, whereas on this one you have a Statue of Liberty uh, plate. Here you have World Wrestling Entertainment on there. Here you have property of World Wrestling Entertainment. Um, personally, I I like this one better because it says property of World Wrestling Entertainment. This one should have said that instead of like making that, um, but they didn't do that. 
Uh, this one is the same U.S. flag. Uh, here you have the same thing, WWE logo, the star, the eagle. Here you have the Statue of Liberty, and on here you have the star again. Alright, so now we'll get to the center plate. Uh, I don't have a name plate on this currently because it's a vacant title in XBWF, and uh, there's no need for a name plate yet because nobody held, holds is holding the title yet. But they will be holding it after Voltage. Which will be me, as a matter of fact. Um, in this one, you have your uh, U.S. logo, which is huge on there. Uh, you have here you have United States champion with the um, little screw things on the side. Here you have the nameplate option, and this one you get like a square, um, a pentagon type of thing. I guess you could say. I don't know what the shape of it would be, but on here you have World Wrestling Entertainment WWE logo up here. Um, personally, this belt is really nice and detailed. I mean, really, it is. Uh, in real life, you think this curve looks massive. Uh, it is not massive at all. People are complaining. People say that the, the curve is huge on this belt. When I have that in-depth look on, um, that, that's not true. Because this curve is not huge at all. Um, it's really, really small. And it's not doesn't look like a mountain. The cameras make it look like a mountain. Alright, so just just to clear things up, I said that. And um, now we have here, you have the John Cena on here. We went, we went through this in the other video request, but I'll just do it again, I guess. Uh, you got the champion here, WWE logo up there, Word Life, John Cena. Uh, the new U United States spinner does not have John Cena or the Word Life thing. It's completely gone, it's completely plain, and it has a nameplate option on here. Which is personally really ugly. I mean, no matter how much I really kind of dislike John Cena, um, this is much better on here because it's his belt that he introduced. So, um, the nameplate option on here does not fit at all. I had the idea of putting an ECW nameplate below the John Cena, but that looks would look ugly. I look I tested it out with my ECW nameplate, and it looks ugly. So that's not worth it. And um. On here you got the word life, which is John Cena's thing. Uh, John Cena, and basically that's really what is it about this. So um, we'll put them on my shoulders now, and uh, we'll call it a day. <clears throat> All right. First we'll do my favorite, the United States title. Uh, this one I can fold it and flex it any way I want. I mean, it's simulated leather. It's not real leather. Nothing special. Uh, just the bucket effect and the rescrew and see it's got the small screws on it um, So basically when you put it over your uh, oh, Put it over your shoulder it just flops right down this and the world title are my most flexible belts of all time um, As you can tell I take when I take it to a live event. I button up the, the sides like this Like that and I put it on my shoulder and that's how I take it um, What it looks like around your waist Put it on. It's a really perfect size because of the curve and everything. Um, it's a really nice belt. It really is. Um, this and the world title, like I said, fit fit around your waist and the flexibility are amazing on those. Uh, not they don't come like that though. You have to do what I did to them to make them that flexible for simulated leather at least. Uh, and here you got this. Fits much better than the ECW 2008 belt. Um, the the center plate isn't as long and. Um, it personally would fit perfectly around your waist. Uh, well, if you're my size, I guess you could say. But um, on here, let's see. Yeah, it, it's flexible as well. Um, because of the bucket effect, because of the re-screwing, this is what makes it more flexible. Um, so as you can see, because of the re-screwing, it could do this. Because of this. It puts less force on the creases, as you can see. I did the in-depth uh, look at the re-screwing job. Uh, look at that video to see what the purpose of the rescrewing is, and um, yeah, that's basically it for that. Um, hopefully that helped. Alright, so um, let's take this off of here, and we will uh, call it a day.
Alright guys, so that's basically a comparison of the United States title and the uh, Word Life United States Spinner Belt, which um, essentially are basically very different belts. Two very different belts. Um, matter of opinion, like all like all my other uh, belt videos, video requests basically, it's matter of opinion. Uh, personally, I'd recommend this one, just because it's a normal US title. If you're a John Cena fan, you go with that one. If not, you go with that one, uh, because, I don't know, I just, this is my favorite belt that I have, it really is. Um, that, with the world title, are my two favorite belts that I own. I was actually considering selling this belt, but I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know. I was gonna get the original ECW belt instead, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna keep this one, uh, because it's really cool. Uh, even if I'm not that big of a John, even if you're not that big of a John Cena fan, that's a good belt. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns...